which her bodies are actually supposed to be in parasympathetic response, which is rest and digest nervous system. And most of us don't recognize that we're not in parasympathetic mode, that we're actually in a sympathetic nervous system response. We're always in that fight or flight mode, whether those of us want to acknowledge it or not. So the reason why I bring it up about exercise is for those of us that have PTSD or CPTSD, it's really hard to exercise because it activates our blood flow, it activates our heart rate, it activates our breathing, um, which simulates the same as a para, no, sorry, same as a sympathetic nervous system. So I've had to learn how to ease back into working out, which takes time because my heart rate gets up, my breathing gets altered, blood flow gets going. So that's what I mean when you're suggesting to people just to go for a walk for their mental health. Yeah, go for a walk, but do it with joy. Just a nice little stroll. Don't do it to time yourself. Don't do it for distance. Do it with clarity and just do it with enjoyment. I hope this helps you understand those that are struggling with mental illness or mental disorders. Most of us really do try daily <laughs> a lot to heal. Um, and I've invested the last 26 months into healing my nervous system. A lot of times I did it alone. Um, and a lot of times I've done it surrounded by those who love me. So be easy on yourself. It's, it's not, it's not an easy journey. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between your sympathetic nervous response, that's our fight or flight nervous response, where you're always triggered, which I was in, in my workplace, to a sympathetic nervous system, which is a rest and digest system, which is what we are supposed to be in. Take care.